For our activity today, we are going to work on sequencing. We are going to work on Chicken Little and the story and what happened in the beginning, middle, and end. I had a sheet of paper that had three different parts of the plot that happened in the story. I have already cut out the story pieces to make it a little bit easier for today's activity. One of the events shows something that happened at the beginning of the story. One of my pictures shows a part of the plot that happened in the middle. And the last piece or picture is going to show a piece of the plot that happened at the end of the story. Is the plot of the story what happens in the story or is it where the story takes place? Did you say that the plot is what happens in the story? If you did, you've been listening and following along and paying attention to those details. So I'm just randomly picking up a piece of the plot and I do not have any glue at home. So I am using a piece of tape to put on the back of my story pictures. This shows Chicken Little with some of his friends. Did this part happen in the beginning, middle, or end? Do we know, was it the beginning? No, this wasn't the beginning of the story. So we need to look at our other pieces. So I'm just gonna lay that to the side. I'm picking up another piece of the story and I'm going to put a piece of tape on it. You can use glue at home if you happen to have it, if we were sequencing. Here is another picture of part of the plot. This is Chicken Little and I see that the acorn is falling on his head. Was this the beginning, middle, or end of the story? Did you say beginning of the story? Very good. So I have my piece of paper and I'm going to attach. We always read from left to right. So I'm attaching the very first part of the story to the left side of my paper. Now I'm going to pull up the other piece that we have that we haven't looked at yet. And this picture shows Chicken Little, his friends with Foxy Loxy. We already have the piece that happened in the beginning. So did this piece happen in the middle or the end? Did you say at the end? You remember the details. So do I want that piece next? No, I want to go back to the piece I had originally. This shows Chicken Little telling his friends about the sky falling. And now I know that this is my middle part of the plot. So I'm putting that in the middle of my paper next to my first part. So now my story, I've got Chicken Little. The acorn falls on his head and he thinks the sky's falling. And he needs to go tell the king. In the middle... Chicken Little has now told Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey about the sky falling, and they too are frightened and want to go off to tell the king. So if I pick up my last piece of my sequencing, I now know that this part of the plot happened at the end. So I can put that on my paper so that our story is now in order. So here is my complete sequencing of the story. I've got Chicken Little with the sky falling on his head. Chicken Little went and told all of his friends, remember Goosey Lucy, Turkey Lurkey, Henny Penny, and then at the end, all of the friends run into Foxy Loxy, who, remember, tries to lure them in his den. 
But Chicken Little comes to his senses and remembers, oh, wolves are bad and birds should not interact with their wolves. So our story is beginning, middle, and end. And when I did my story retelling, remember, I didn't put um, all of the same words from the story into my retell. I just did part of the story. So we're going to use our pictures and we're going to practice using the prepositions on and off. On the back of my paper, we are going to fill in our story using the words on and off. So let's see if we can complete this. So here is my first sentence. The acorn fell, is it on or off Chicken Little's head? Did you say on? You were right. Let's do that sentence together. The acorn fell on Chicken Little's head. Great job practicing with me. Let's look at the second picture right here and figure out if we need to put in the word on or off. A piece of it fell on or off my poor head. Did you say on? A piece of it fell on my poor head, said Chicken Little. The word on means in these two sentences, it tells where something is. So the opposite of on is off. Great job practicing your sequencing today. See if you can draw a picture of our story and make three boxes and fill in the boxes with the beginning, middle, and end.